Hey guys, my name's Matt Steady. I'm a musician from Leicester in England, and uh, I play Celtic blues. Um, I just wanted to um, really run you through a few ideas for making your soloing a little bit more interesting. Um, so I'm not going to be shredding or anything like that, but um, if you're anything like me, you learnt soloing by learning the pentatonic scale. So you kind of been doing... And then doing some improvisation off the top of it. And that's great fun and uh, gets you quite a long way, to be honest. You can get a huge, huge way with that. Um, but what I found was, as I was starting to record more songs, I was boring myself very slightly and I was having to really really work hard to um, make my solo sound more and more interesting as I was using up because your solos are basically made up of little phrases and snippets of stuff that you've learned over the years and you put together like if you write a book you put all the different words in different orders but they're still just words you haven't really made many words up so it's the same with your guitaring and every now and again you need to freshen it up with some new words and uh, for me what I needed to do um, was just change my approach a bit and rather than just play what came to my fingers I wanted to do something a bit different so I forced my fingers to do different things and then um, what that does is some of it sounds awful and some of it sounds great and you take the bits that are good and you work them into what you're going to play on your solos. So the two things that I really worked on hard were, uh, first of all, skipping strings. So if you've been learning the pentatonic scale like I did, you, you go up and down in a fairly linear way. You know, you can go up and down, but it's still going, it's still fairly... Um, regular, if that makes any sense. There's no big jumps. So putting some skips in is a... So all you've got to do here is you just need to go and you need to practice skipping strings. So instead of going from here to... Maybe go... And to be fair, you're going to start and it's going to sound crazy but you're going to find a couple of intervals and in anything oh that's nice that'll really fit and it makes a big difference when you do um the other thing is practicing um not just going up and down in a nice easy fretboard position where we're staying at roughly the same position on the fretboard but we're going up and down all the time so the way to practice that is to pick a string and just enjoy yourself just noodle about i need to do some more of this actually but i mean basically you kind of Whatever, but just pick a string and noodle. Why not? How about mixing the two up? So noodle on one string, skip a string. So go two or three strings away, noodle on that one and go back up again. And you'll find that when you're doing these two things, you um, really can really come up with something that's just a little bit more interesting. If you can interest yourself in a solo, it's probably going to interest somebody else. If you're boring yourself when you're playing it, you're probably going to bore someone else too. All right. Cheers. Matt Steady. Hope you enjoyed that little tidbit. So here's me putting it into practice. Um, you'll notice some string skipping um, and you'll see a lot of um, going up and down the fretboard on one string. So I was practicing hard on that for this particular solo. So this is Black Dog. Um, enjoy. Like high, the fog receives. My pulse slows, my mind begins to clear. I look 
around me with glistening eyes. Begin to realize. I see a movement from the corner of my eye. 